Greetings, folks. Lance here. Well, we're returning to the EG4LL version 2 battery modules and getting these to work with BMS tools. I did some previous videos on how the daisy chain, which are these cables here that connect all the mod modules into a daisy chain, it does not work with BMS tools. You can read one module at a time. So the scope of this video is just for BMS tools. It doesn't have anything to do with connecting the daisy chain to an EG4 inverter. I actually am running Outback Power. So EG4 and Outback Power do not communicate. So I have to use BMS tools, especially for uh, remote access to the BMS tools. So I had a few ideas about how to work around this and came up with a fairly um, simple solution. We are bypassing this daisy chain altogether. So what I did was I bought four, excuse me, six communication cables for the six modules. And then I actually ordered a, another USB hub because I have two and I just wanted one big hub. So I got another one on order so that way I can combine these together. But this is fairly straightforward. Uh, basically, by having a hub and six cables, we are able to read each of these modules individually. We set the dip switch settings starting at two going down to seven and then we have connected the communication cable to the rs485 port on each of the modules so now we are able and this is going to take a while because it's searching a lot of ports but we're just going to select search device and it will go out and find each COM port and each module. And this is going to take a while, so I'm just going to skip past this whole process and get, get to the end. Okay. It has gone and found all the COM ports with each individual pack on each of the COM ports. So now we can actually view via BMS tools all of these packs. And I don't think clicking on, let's see here, just clicking on this. Yeah, clicking on these doesn't allow you to do it. You actually have to select the, each COM port. But it does read them. And I actually can view all of this now remotely via team viewer and uh i'll try to remember put a link down below too in fact there's a there are a number of links um like for the communication cable uh installing bms tools in order to to read all these uh, the daisy chain not working uh all oh, the dip switch settings i think there may be one other maybe a couple others but uh, I will include that information below. 